Hello everyone, welcome back to another AI video. In this one, we're in just released Adobe Illustrator 2024 version 28. It's just updated and in particular, you'll see here it says 28.0. It has the brand new text to vector graphic or text to vector functionality built into it. And it is fantastic. It's kind of like generative uh, fill on Photoshop. You type in what you want and it will create the vector for you. And it will give you three examples. Anyways, let's just, here's a couple examples here. Here's like a cyberpunk scene that I created. It's not nothing special, but I asked for it to be purplish and pinkish. And then I also have a matching French bulldog on a throne here, and this is more of a subject. And then this one here is a French bulldog icon. So you can do four different things, subject, scene, icon, and patterns, if that's your thing. So let me show you how to do it. It's super simple. So again, we're in Adobe Illustrator 2024, the latest version. And now I've just got a couple of artboards open up here. So it just open up anything that you wanna work on, any artboard and then go to properties. Under properties, you're going to see this here. It says text to vector graphic beta. And then under type, you get four types. You get subject, scene, icon, and pattern. Also, you can now under that, you're gonna see here that you can match active artboard style. So if you have an artboard and you create an icon, for example, the icon will try to match the artboard. Uh, you can leave that on or off. And then here's where we do the magic, prompt. So in this case, I'm gonna go cyberpunk French bulldog with awesome vibrant colors. And again, you guys can type in anything you want. I just wanna show you. Now, because I have this set as subject and not a scene, because that wouldn't make a whole lot of sense, it's gonna go ahead and cook up some examples of some cool subjects. And you can already see them here being built. So here is the first one. And of course it throws it right in the middle. I'll click out to show you. This is pretty cool. And if I move it over here, all right, I like it. Let's take a look at the second one. Here, let's go ahead and click on the second one. I've added the second one in. This one has some personality. I like it. And then let's look at this third one. This one's mean mugging, it looks like, but I'm gonna move this one over here. And boom, those are the three, these are the three variations that you get. If you don't like it, you can just go ahead and keep on clicking on it. Also, while I have you here, I wanna show you a few things. You can style pick, so you can extract the style from a reference image. So if you have an image that you wanna use, you can go ahead and use that. I'm not gonna do that in this case, but do keep in mind that it is available. Also, you can do a sample prompt if you're not sure what to type in and you need some ideas, sample prompt is interesting. And then the biggest one here is this one here, which is detail. So basically how much latitude do you give the system? So basically, do you want it to have very little detail? So if you type something in, it'll just give you a, you know, a very, you know, mixed bag, so to speak, or do you want it to be very tight to what you typed into the prompt? And again, you can adjust this as you see fit. It defaults to two and two seems to work quite nicely. Now let's go ahead and delete all of these. I'm going to show you the other functionality really quickly here while I got you. If I wanted to, for example, switch from subject to a scene, because maybe I want a cool background, let's go with mountains in a scary uh, haunted movie. Something like that. It's kind of silly one, but whatever. I mean, you guys can go nuts, but I'm basically trying to create like a scary movie with some mountains in it. All right, whatever. So this is gonna go ahead and give us three examples, but these are going to be scenes, not subjects. So again, let's see what we get here. I can already tell I kind of like uh, this third one. So I'm gonna click on that. And presto, here we go, we've got that. Now look at this. Keep in mind that these are vector graphics. So if I hold down shift and I just pull on one of the handles on the edges, this, because they're vector graphics, they scale infinitely. So, I mean, I could do something like this and I could put the mountain right here and then boom, there we go. I'll just click on okay, something like that. And presto, there we go. I've gone ahead and created this cool scene and that's one of the other things you can do. The last one I'll show you here that, that I like to use is an icon. And this is a simple one. So French bulldog icon, something like that. Nice and simple, I'll create this. And then it should, in theory, try to match the active artboard. So it may try to match this here. Again, this is all pretty new. So um, if it doesn't, so be it. But okay, that's an ugly as hell one. Let's go with this one. Let's see what this looks like. Okay, yeah, sure. We'll put that guy right at the top of the mountain. How good is that? There you go. So of course, because it's vector, you can go in and you can recolor it and you can adjust it as you see fit. But there you go. These are all vector graphics. And of course, if you want to verify that, just go into your layers panel, drop them down here and look at this. All vectors all the way down. That's all there is to it. It's awesome. Thanks for watching.